Alright guys, I received a message from Jesse is balling 13 It says, help please, I beg you. You know, like, after a while when you're not touching your mouse, the computer, like, shuts off. It doesn't shut down, it just shuts off. How do you make the time longer for it to shut off? Like, for example, I was just downloading a large file. People say the file take one hour or so to download, so I watched TV while it was downloaded and the computer shut off. Do you know how to expand the time to shut off? Please tell me if you do know, my download depends on it. At... Uh, thanks for your question, Jesse is balling 13. Now, I assume by shut off you mean standby because, um, well, in the UK or whichever, um, shut off usually means that it instantly turns off without warning. And if it's doing that for you, then you have a serious problem with your computer. And um, it may be doing it because I'm assuming you have a laptop or something like that because usually PCs don't um, put themselves to standby. It's usually laptops because they could try and conserve power. Um, so I'm going to assume you said standby here. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I assume shut off means standby. So, um, again, with laptops, that's usually a function that they have to save power. Now, if I go to Start Control Panel, and just go to Power Options, uh, this is where pretty much everything is located that you need for your laptop and its power settings or your desktop. And um, all you're looking for is this system standby here on the main Power Schemes page. And you have probably got it set to something like after 20 minutes or something like that, and then it will just put your system to standby, and um, you just change it to never um, or when it, or however long you want to do it. I mean, I've just had never because, well, to be honest, I haven't changed the settings. It's just because it's a desktop, it's set differently. Now, turning off the monitor. This is all to um, conserve power, so you can turn, you can have it so it never turns off the monitor, and never turns off the hard disk. So um, that's this tab. Now we'll go on to the next tab. It just says advanced. Um, always show icon in the taskbar, that's for people with laptops who want to show the battery, usually it shows by default anyway. Prompt for password when the computer resumes from standby, security procedure. Now if I show you this bit, now because um, I have a desktop it only shows me one option here, it says when I press the power button on my computer, shut down. And um, obviously I can change that if I want to, to ask me what to do, standby, shut down, whichever. Now uh, there, on a laptop there's two extra ones I believe. Um, I think that's uh, in the bottom here it says when I press the standby button on my computer or something like that and then you can change that it's pretty much the same options here but you can change that if you want to I, I'm not sure um, I think it's just a little a different button on a laptop or something but anyway the one up here is um, the one I found that was the most amusing because um, I ha I've had people come to me and they've said um, I'm doing something on my laptop and uh, I'm I d trying to download a large file and then I've closed the laptop to move it somewhere else because they're connected by Wi-Fi or something. I open it up and it's gone to standby. And well, it has an option here. It says um, when I close the lid of my portable computer, and then you can change it. So um, you can just say do nothing there. And I've always set that with all the laptops I've had. I've always set that to do nothing because even though it's a great power saver, if you do close your laptop, it's not good when you're doing things and uh, you need to keep it going and you go to move somewhere it shuts it down or it puts it to standby. So you just want to change that um, if you do have that. Now uh, the next one is Hibernate. I've got Hibernate turned off because I don't use it because most of the time my PC is on and when it's not it's shut down. Uh, I've had no need to use Hibernation really. And uh, this UPS is Uninterruptible Power Supply. Now if you don't know what Uninterruptible Power Supply is, uh, all it does is it plugs into your um, your normal plug and I think it either it might plug into the uh, PC by USB cable or something like that and um, all it does is got like about 20 minute backup uh, to your PC uh, of power so when your PC um, I don't know shuts down or, or if the power gets cut and you have a desktop PC and um, you're doing really important work on it um, if you didn't have an un uninterruptible power supply your PC would turn off and uh, you'd lose that work and you may even lose your computer because sometimes that can happen but if you have an uninterruptible power supply it's like a backup of uh, about 20 minutes or 30 minutes depending on uh, whatever um, whatever the product is and it um, just runs itself and it just switches the power to that so you have enough time to save your work and shut your computer down so uh, this is the UPS service that you can use um, you can just um, disable it if it is running if you don't have one so um, that's pretty much it, just explaining the power options properties if you don't know about it. Now Vista users uh, pretty much run in the same way, it's just a different icon, you go to power. If you can't see your icons like this in Vista, you just say switch to classic view or, or switch the classic icons or something like that. Uh, you just double click that and it looks pretty much exactly the same as this and then you can change everything from here. So 
I hope this helps you, Jesse is born in 13. Um, I hope that's what you mean by shuts off, because again, if it, if your computer is shutting off as in shutting down, or it's just completely turning off without warning, then you have something seriously wrong with your computer. Uh, I strongly suggest you get it checked out. So, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.